Hey runners, happy Saturday, January 11th. I am out here at Desert Foothills Park, about four miles from uh, our house. I decided to come here to uh, do my long run. I started here and behind me um, is the direction that I headed. Um, it is a pretty hilly course that I um, designed basically to, to run, uh, nine miles uh, today is my long run day so I wanted to get out and see what I could do uh, as you know I'm training for the Atlanta half marathon coming up March 1st and that course um, has some hills in it particularly on the back stretch uh, around like mile 9 and 10 which of course is a point where I start to really get uh, a little bit sore and tired uh, at least for me uh, my feet start to ache uh, so I want to make sure that I am um, training for this and uh, you know getting some good hills in and uh, just working on my cadence and uh, working on downhill as well. Beautiful day, about 35, 36 degrees just before sunrise. Uh, I started about 7:15 ish in the morning, and the sun's come up just around 7:30. So. Uh, yeah, real nice day. The first half mile or so is a little bit of a climb behind me, and then I get onto uh, Chandler Boulevard and head west, um, and that's a good climb. Uh, it's steep, but not as steep uh, as if you were heading east on Chandler Boulevard. And then you go downhill, which is pretty steep. That's about a 10% grade, and uh, that was pretty quick. I think I was running about a 6 minute 50 second pace at one point uh, not to the point where I was like out of control but um, I could definitely feel my legs starting to uh, get good turnover so uh, after that um, at mile I believe it was around two or so um, that's another good climb up uh, desert uh, foothills parkway and uh, that's a nice long steady mile or so and uh, then I got to the uh, trailhead there and got a drink of water and then um, I'm trying something new for my um, electrolytes if you will there are these organic uh, fruit bars uh, they're like in a long stick um, that my wife uh, and I picked up um, I believe it was at uh, Costco a few weeks ago. So I thought I'd give it a try. Um, usually I try uh, Honey Stingers. Um, that's usually my choice of uh, chews. But I decided to go ahead and uh, do that today. Not bad. I think the stra strawberry and banana is the flavor. And uh, it's a little bit thicker than the Honey Stinger chews, at, uh, which I prefer. But... I wanted to give this a shot and and see how it tasted and of course how it um, went with my stomach and if there were any issues. Um, not bad flavor. It's a little bit um, thicker uh, when it kind of melts in your mouth. Um, I don't know how much I really liked it. Uh, so I got a nice big gulp of water at the trailhead and then uh, it took me about three minutes or so to finish this little block of um, fruit uh, roll up or whatnot. Then I uh, proceeded to head uh, back down the hill on the other side and then uh, another small climb uh, just before I got to 24th Street and then a nice little climb for about two tenths and then I picked up a water bottle that I had dropped off there at mile six and ran with that for a couple miles actually and didn't take my uh, second uh, um, fruit block until about mile I think it was about seven and a half or so uh, no issues with the uh, stomach felt pretty good so uh, I'm happy about that I was feeling a little bit uh, kind of crappy in my stomach last night just before dinner went to bed and uh, woke up fine so that's it um oh my final time was 120 
206 that is a 907 pace which is is good um, definitely we're uh, I guess w within my um, target pace so I'm excited about that anyways until the next uh, episode I will follow up on the weekend run and wish you guys a good weekend be safe and have a great run out there take care